Hello there people of the internet, my name is Owen and welcome to Fuming. So, we're now in this little unit. I've already took the liberty of taking the front bumper off and the crash bar. So we have access to the radiator. I've took the thermo stats off as well for the front and also part of my air horn. This is a new radiator we've acquired. I've got a fire extinguisher just in case because uh, I have neighbors. And also we have this, which is the master cylinder that I've acquired off my good friend Jeffro. Uh, this should fix the braking issue that I have with the Corsa. Fully stocked up the batteries out and I've got the two uh, floodlights here. So right now I'm trying to take out this battery tray, which has not been out in fucking ages. So that's coming out. This bottle's going to get emptied and I'm going to figure out how to take this radiator out which I've never done before. I'm assuming these clips is what's holding it on. Um, but I'm sure as soon as we unbolt a few things like this here and this here, it'll become obvious how I'm gonna take this all out. Um, I might have to move this power steering reservoir perhaps. Um, so we're gonna need a new air filter because this thing is just rotten in fact. Here's shit coming out of it as well. It's not going to be good for the engine. So that is definitely coming off. It's definitely seen better days. So I'm going to take that up. I'm going to make sure I have plenty of room here. But I first of all need to take that battery tray out, which, as you guys can see, should be just fairly simple. Uh, one, two, and three, and four. That should just lift down. And uh, we're going to see what's lurking underneath that, which I have never ever seen yet in this car. So, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> okay, so, now I've disconnected the water pipe, I've made sure that no more water will come out for now by blocking it with uh, some of this stuff. I picked up some from Halfords. Seems to be pretty good. I managed to dry most of it that's on the floor. Um, so we've took off the hoses here. This one, strangely enough, wasn't connected to anything. Strange. But uh, I've got a new coolant tank, which I've got up here, which is nice and fresh, nice and clear. I've got some silicon hose there for some modifications uh, to make it look smart in here. I've disconnected the sub, the sub's no longer in the car. Um, I need to unplug this radiator, which I'll do in a second. This is how I rewired it initially. Well, this, so that's gonna come off. Uh, I've got some out think about how I'm going to get this off so I'll talk to you in a minute once I've got that off old and the new much better okay so now I've had to take the headlight out so I can get to I don't know how well you can see it but that right there above my finger that little clip that needs to come off that pipe should come off and then hopefully in theory this radiator should just come off once I've taken those two screws out Well, you can see but I've disconnected this cable here from the radiator the radiator is somewhat free um, it's come out of the holder I've drained it so I did manage to do it put the little headlight back in for now but I've got one more thing I need to take off and that should be it it's I think that is the gearbox cooler that I need to take off and then this radiator is out of here Oh, bless it. Anyway, 
not long to go now. And then I'm going to sort out this again. This is the botch job we uh, attempted a while ago. This is why I've got a chisel for over there. But uh, this radiator is going to come out. I might keep that fan on there depending on which one's in better condition. And uh, this hose here should come out. Just needs to untouch from there. But I mean, it is a power steering line anyway. So uh, yeah, let's get this radiator out. So guys, that's it for today um, on fuming. I know this was a short video to show you guys what I'm doing on fuming and an insight of what the unit looks like. Um, we've got a few bits to do. Uh, I've stopped the video here because we need to sort out that rust now that the radiator is now fully out of the car. So fuming's looking a bit bare on the engine bay as we speak, but we need to sort that rust out that we sorted last year um, as a temporary fix and then we need to put the new radiator in get the new coolant hoses clean everything up and then move on to something else that we need to do to the car which is the master cylinder so anyways guys i want to thank you guys for watching this video if you did like this video and you do like what we're doing with fuming leave a like and subscribe at the end of this video and until next time guys i'll see you guys in the next one take care